Hi, it's Linda with CreativePLR.com, and today I'm in Trello. I like to do my organizing at the beginning of the week or the end of the week, depending on when your week starts. And um, I'm looking at my, this particular Trello board is my uh, blog post for this year. And I found a power-up that I really like. So I've used this before, and let me talk to you about power-ups. Power-ups, when I first started using Trello, they used to cost. So you would have to have the premium Trello account to use any kind of power-up. And for some of them, they do cost, not the power-up. But if I wanted to, like, sync to my Google Drive, well, there's another app, that a third-party app that connects the two. You'd have to pay for that. So uh, I never paid for any of the power-ups in the beginning, um, and I'm not going to start paying now. So, but there are a number of power-ups that you can get that makes your life just a little bit easier and more helpful. And I can think of numerous things that you can do with this one. And the first one I want to talk about today is the calendar power-up. Now, this is my blog post board, and I keep my blog posts on here. And what I can do is um, I have, for the month of June, here are the blog posts that I'm, I'm writing. I haven't done 625. Well, it's actually written. I just don't have the, the picture for it yet. And so I put the picture in there, I put the link in there, and then if I offered any content upgrades, if I uh, had an opt-in that went along with this, um, if I had social media posts that I used with this, whatever it had to do with this individual blog post, I keep on one, one little board or one little card. And so next year, if I'm writing another blog post about Pinterest video pins, how it's changed, traffic I've noticed, and my analytics, whatever the topic is, and I want to refer back to this, I have all that information in one place. I don't have to go looking on my blog. I don't have to log into anything. And the nice thing about Trello is I can access it from anywhere. Okay, so, I, you know, if I were at work, you know, my workplace has a lot of links blocked. I can't get to things, especially my blog post, can't get to Warrior Plus. Um, so, but I can get to Trello. So all of my information's here. So you'll notice that on here that there is a little, looks like a little date, looks like a little clock and a little date on there. And that is the only thing that you'll have to add in order to use this app. And so there's, I've already done July. Let's do one on August so you can show how to do it. Eight, six. And I'm just going to click on this where it says date. And I'm going to add, this is eight, six. And then I save it. And then let's and then just close it out. And then let's do 813, 813, and save it. Now, I can think of a number of things that this would be useful for. Um, I, I don't know about you, but I have affiliates. And, I mean, I don't even have a tremendous amount. I can't imagine if you had 100 affiliates or even 50, you know, how you would handle things. Just with the small number of affiliates that I have, it's almost impossible to keep track of. That's the thing that takes me the longest time to track, like, what when the launch date is, uh, the, the image, the description, what I'm going to write about it, the price, if it takes a coupon code. That would be so helpful to do a Trello board with all that information. And then you could put in the dates, the dates, the launch date, uh, how long, when the launch is over, and you could have the dates in there. So let me show you now what this looks like. And so you can see. So I pull this up. And here are my June blog posts. Here's July that I've already done. Here's August. And so you could plan out your content for a long time in advance and have it post. Now, I'm going to go to another board where I haven't installed this power up and show you how that works. And I'm going to see if I can find it easily. Um, okay, so I've got one called email ideas. And I have to be full disclosure. Um, I, this isn't my e this is my e my Trello board. These aren't my ideas. So I got these in a bundle. I got them, um, I got them from somewhere, and I don't know where I, I got them from. And if I knew, I would I would tell you. But they're not mine, so I didn't come up with this. And so on each of these little tips and tricks, uh, there is something that you can use in an email or you could use social media posts. They're just like, you know, content tips. Okay. Or behind the scenes. So you could do like one of each of these across for a month, you know, this first week, second week, third week, fourth week, or however you'd want to organize it. So let's say that I wanted to put this in a calendar to figure out, you know, what I'm going to write and when. And so I would want to use that calendar. So I'm going to go over to power ups 
and I'm going to add a power up. Now, I'm, I'm uh, penny wise and pound foolish. I spend lots of money, but I'm cheap when I need to be. So um, the power ups used to call, cost money when I first started using um, Trello. And so I would never use any of them. So this is kind of like a new thing. They've been free for a while now. And I just, you know, you know, because they were, they cost money in the old days. I just never used them, never got in the habit. But I love this calendar one. Now, let me give you a tip. See this one that says Google Calendar plus Trello, and it's a two-way sync. And it looks like a green circle with a sideways S. That one costs money. There's a, it's a third-party app, and you're going to have to sign up for that third-party app. Uh, so some of these, this one, Google Calendar two-way sync by Placker. That is a third-party app, and that costs money. So I try not to do any of those. And so I'm going to like this calendar one, and I'm just going to add. And that's all there is to it. That one doesn't cost you money. And now when I click on this, there's my calendar. Okay. Now, in order to use it, I would have to go in and add dates. So let me go in and add a date. So I'm going to use this. Um, I'm going to use this for my email on, let's say, uh, not July, let's say June 28th. Click that, save it. And then if I go over and look at here and I look for, there's June 28th and here's the proven tip. So you could organize your email content. You could organize um, anything that you want to organize and lay out might be helpful if you're doing um, something with deadlines you're creating a course and each day you want a deadline and you could put that into the calendar as well uh, but this calendar is going to just change things for you it's really going to help you get organized i hope you are using trello and if you are i hope you love it and you will use this tip until next time um, have a great day